Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that will be linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Now, this week could be crunch week for Mesut Ozil's career at Arsenal. Um, as we know, he's been at a club a very long time. Spoke about him a little bit over the past couple of days that he's a player that divides opinion, most certainly amongst the uh, fan base at Arsenal. There are a lot of fans that are like, listen, he's a world-class player. It's the other player's fault. They don't get into positions right. We don't play him in the right position. We don't give him enough service. Lots and lots of things like that. Then there are other players, there are other fans that are just like, listen, this guy's just too lazy. He doesn't do it in the big games. He doesn't turn up in away games. Physically not strong enough. Mentally not strong enough. And certainly um, a lot of fans really turned against him after the Europe, Europa League final when he was substituted and he just literally just, you know, strolled off the pitch, even though we were losing and basically threw a strop, was really, really in a bad mood. Now, what is Unai Emery going to do about this guy? Um, he's on £350,000 a week, reportedly, uh, the top earner at Arsenal Football Club, but he's not delivering. Whether you're a big fan of Meza Ozil or you're not a fan, I think we can all agree on it that last season was a very poor season for him. He didn't deliver. Remember, Unai Emery, sort of at the start of the season, wasn't even playing Ozil. You know, um, away from home, he came out and said that, you know, tactically, Ozil's not really the man to play away from home. He was suggesting that he doesn't work hard enough um, off the ball. And you can see that there's a bit of strain there between Ozil and Unai Emery. Unai Emery was also at the start of the season and in the January transfer window considering guys like Eva Benega to bring in as a replacement. And I think it's quite obvious that in the system that Unai Emery's trying to play, he would rather somebody else apart from Mesut Ozil. However, how do you move on a player like Ozil who's on such huge wages 350,000 pounds a week. No doubt there'd be suitors out there that would be interested in him, but who are gonna match those wages based on the form and his age now? Remember, he's now 30, I think he turns 31 in October. So it's a real conundrum that's been handed down to Unai Emery from the previous regime, and uh, now it is really proving to be a big problem because basically he's the top earner and he's not performing. now. The rumours are that uh, Emery's going to be sitting down with the club hierarchy this week to discuss uh, transfers and to discuss uh, who he wants to get rid of. And high up on that list of discussion points is Mesut Ozil. Do they try and move him on? Uh, and one of the methods of doing that would be to pay off his contract and uh, then just you know offer him up for sale. There's clubs like Inter Milan said to be interested. Fenerbahce are said to be also interested in him as well. But it would be a massive loss for Arsenal. And when you consider our current position where we've got limited funds to spend as we're still um, back in the Europa League again for next season, is that really an option? Or is it just that Unai Emery just has to say, I have to find a way to assimilate this guy into the team? What do you guys think out there? I really want to find out today. I want to do a poll on it. Do we get rid of Mesut Ozil this summer? No matter what the pain or what the cost, just get rid of him or do we keep him? Vote for it in the poll and let me know. But Mesut Ozil is certainly going to be discussed um, this week. And, um, you know, we just need so much done at the moment to this team. There's a lot of surgery that needs um, doing to this team. And it's going to be, as I keep saying, a really, really important summer. Now, one of the things I was uh, looking at is do Arsenal promote the youth this summer? Um, and whilst talking about the youth, there's one player, uh, one young player that apparently is very unhappy. This is what the rumours are saying, um, that Javier Michi was very, very unhappy at being left out of the um, squad that played um, in the Europa League final. Remember, um, Unai Emery was able to um, to name a very, very big squad for that game. But Amici was left out. Now, his uh, contract only has one year left on him. On it. He is a really, really top talent. And 
a player that I think, you know, maybe Arsenal should be looking to for the future. Um, he can play out wide and I, I thought that he would have had a shout to um, have been in the team this season. But what happened was, is that right at the start of the season, he got a bad injury and that's kept him out for most of the season. Now that he's fit now, he's rearing to go. Um, but he's said to be very unhappy. And what you've got now, you've got a lot of top clubs that are looking at some of these young, um, talented players. And uh, Bayern Munich are said to be one of those players that are interested in Amici. And he may look and say to himself, well, looking at guys like Jaden Sancho and that have gone to Dortmund, they've done all right. Maybe I fancy a bit of Germany myself. But uh, certainly it's going to be interesting to see what happens with him. But I think we should be trying to hold on to him because I really do see him as a player for the future. Some of the young players that we've got at Arsenal, maybe it might be time to promote them through to the first time, first team. DT was sort of suggesting that the other day when we did the podcast that, you know, it's time to promote some of these youth through, try and follow that kind of Ajax model where you give some of these young players a chance. Look at De Litt at um, Ajax. I know he's an exceptional player, but look at him and look at some of the other players like Van der Beek and that, that they've promoted through, kept faith in, and what they were able to do last season. Even you look at a lot of other teams, even, I hate to say it, Tottenham have promoted a lot of youth players through and it's done very well for them. So is it time to promote guys like Joe Willock, who I thought when he came on in that Europa League final, I know he missed that big chance, but he looked lively. You know, I like the way he carried the ball. I like the way his drive and he looked very lively in that game, 19 years of age. A player that is improving every time I see him play. I remember the first time I sort of saw him playing for Arsenal, I was like, not ready, not strong enough. This season when he's played, he's looked strong. He's got that drive. I really like what I see. Maybe it's time to give him more game time. Emil Smith-Rowe went on loan to RB Leipzig. He was excellent in the Europa League and really started to look at this kid and think, you know what, this could be a long-term replacement for Aaron Ramsey. Um, did brilliantly in the Europa League in the midfield and also um, in the FA Cup. Really, really does look a player. Scored goals, even from pre-season, was doing really well. Went on loan to RB Leipzig and it really didn't work out for him. And that was only really because of injury. Um, RB Leipzig said to want to take him on loan again this season. But is it time to keep him um, back at the club and give him game time and try and promote him through? And there's a, then there's the, uh, the young winger who came on in a couple of the FA Cup games and looked really lively, and that is uh, um, Bakayo Saku. I really like the look of him as well. Only 17, um, left winger, and again, really, really quick, really, really strong, and really does look like a player. And even when I talk to um, some of the coaches uh, in the youth setup um, at Arsenal, they are really enthusiastically talking about, you know, They've got a brilliant um, academy and some brilliant players there. And maybe it's time to give some of those players a chance if we've got a limited budget. Reese Nelson, remember, is still, um, well, he was out on loan. Uh, bit of an up and down loan period for him. But is it time to try and get him some game time? And the thing is now, as I said, if we don't give some of these youngsters game time, they're going to be up and gone because a lot of these teams around Europe now are starting to see the excellent academies that the English clubs have and are knocking on the door to try and nick some of them at a cut price. And a lot of those youngsters have seen what Jaden Sancho has gone to Germany and done and how he plays regular first-team football, now in the England team. And they're all thinking to themselves, maybe that could be a route for myself. So maybe that could be one of the ways for Arsenal to go this summer and that is to go with young players. I'm um, talking at young players. They're looking at a young player at the moment from... Brazil um, goes by the name of Gabriel Martinelli. Uh, he's uh, only 17, plays for a team called um, Ituanano FC. Never heard of that team, but they're based over there in Brazil. Now, um, apparently this kid has been spotted by Edu. Edu, of course, who's uh, with the Brazilian national team, um, but is set to take over as technical director of Arsenal after the Copa America this year. Um, that finishes around about the 7th of July. And he's said to take over. And um, the rumours are that one of the players he wants to bring in is this Gabriel Martinelli. Um, Martinelli, a forward, a very talented player. He won't need a work permit because he's uh, apparently got Italian heritage. 
and um, is seen over in Brazil as a really, really hot prospect. Um, could he be on his way to Arsenal alongside Edu? Um, we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that one. Arsenal also linked today with a Turkish um, international. Uh, it goes by the name of uh, Ozan Kabak. Again, very young, only 19, plays for Stuttgart. Um, and he's a centre-back, uh, Turkish international as well. Now, he's apparently got a release clause of £13.2 million. Spurs, Bayern Munich and Manchester United all taking a look at this kid, all interested in him as well. Um, but Arsenal, as we know, got a big centre-back problem and apparently looking at him. Great to look at this kid. I mean, Stuttgart shipped a lot of goals last summer. You know what I mean, so, um, last period, said to have shipped about... Uh, 20 goals, so that was a lot of goals. Uh, 70 goals, sorry, I'm not talking about 20. 70 goals, apparently. Um, and, uh, you know, he was in the defence, although he didn't figure regularly in their team. So you can't say that he was a, a regular in their team at the time that they shipped a lot of goals. But I, I still think, in the case of Arsenal, we need a young, we need a experienced centre-back. And I was just looking at some of these guys and 19 and that. We've already got guys like Rob Holding and got, we need an experience centre back. That is my opinion um, to replace Lauren Koscielny and Mustafi. So, 19 year old, I don't know, that's a more experienced player for me, but Arsenal apparently uh, looking at this kid. Now, Thomas Munier spoke about this a couple of days ago. I'm still interested in Arsenal. Uh, Munier, 27. Uh, linked with a 25 million euro uh, move to Arsenal. But Manchester United also said to be very uh, interested in the Belgian right back. Um, but those rumours continue there. Remember, he played under Emery uh, when he was at PSG and uh, Emery would like to bring him in. I think it would be a good move for, you know, we know that Lichstein is going to be moving on. Maitland-Niles has done decently uh, at right back, but I think we can see he's not really a right back. Push him further forward. Again, another young player that, you know, if we put him in his right position, might be able to do something, especially with the experience that he's gained. Um, but Thomas Munier certainly would be um, a, a good player to bring in at Arsenal. But um, the rumours continue. And as I said, Manchester United also now said to be very interested in the PSG right back. Now, another player that Arsenal have been linked with today is a, a goalkeeper, Adrio Radu, uh, 22 years of age. Plays for Inter Milan uh, of Romanian descent uh, and um, last season spent the season alone at um, Genoa uh, where he had a very good season. Um, but he is an Inter Milan player. Now Arsenal said to be um, interested in him and have made an inquiry about him according to his agent. Of course we know that Petr Cech has uh, retired. Um, Ospina is going to be moved on. So Arsenal do need a number two goalkeeper. Um, we do, of course, have Emilio Martinez, who went on loan at Reading last season. Will he be coming back in as number two? Or, by the looks of it, it looks like Arsenal are looking for a fresh um, number two in that area. So, again, let's see how this one develops. Certainly, a lot of players leaving and a lot of positions to be filled this summer at Arsenal. So, those are some of the transfer rumours for today. Um, don't forget to subscribe here to AFTV. And as I said, love to hear from you in our poll. Mesut Ozil, get rid of him or keep him. I'd love, from here, love to hear from you guys today.